Hey people, Mike Martin's here with the Mike Martin's channel. Um, a lot of people are asking me to give an update on what's happening with my solar shed. So I've been working on the solar shed for the last two, three years. I made a few videos to kind of show you guys a very basic system on how, you know, charge your phones, laptops, run even some night lights, keep it simple and uh, simple inverter, keep it very simple. And we ran that in parallel, very simple system very simple update now I've been expanding on my solar project so to say and I'm expanding it to the roof of my home and now I'm going to be running and I'm going to teach you guys and I'm going to show you guys what I'm doing <clears throat> remember I am not a licensed electrician nor a solar panel solar panel company salesperson I am just here to basically uh, I explain to you guys what I've been doing, how I've been doing, and I've been getting a lot of people asking me this. So here it is, folks, and this is what I'm doing. Today, we're going to be running these panels in series. So what it means, what, what does it mean in series? We're going to be running them from plus negative to plus negative to plus negative, uh, amplifying the power that's being generated and coming in to the house. Now, these are the easy uh, brackets sold by Renogy. With the panels right here and these panels very straightforward to put up these are your very basic but very strong and resilient because i've already had them for three winters on my shed got a bit of weight to them but they're good these are the men the renergy 100 watts uh 24.3 open circuit voltage and then you have basically it's all broken down to you there and what i'm going to be doing is running these in series of eight so I'm going to be running eight panels on this design that I did, and I'm going to be running the wires down. So as you see, those ugly wires coming down, we're going to combine them, clean them up, and we're going to run them into where our combiner box and inverter are. Now, if you look at the roof of the house, and you see they're kind of on top of each other, but there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Those are running in series the wires are dropped down those eight up there are also running in series that's to catch the sunset or midsummer day so as you can see we've been busy putting up panels the last couple of weeks there are the wires we're going to clean these up of course and they're going to be probably brought into the house through the old uh, cable system that used to go through in the telecom system so we're going to take advantage of that through the crawl space and clean this up as much as possible so these panels right here, I like to call them my sunrise panels to catch the early morning sun. There's the eight panels right there on the roof running in series. And again, to increase the voltage and to increase the power, potentially that could be brought in to the house. So that very simple right there. So strings of eight, keep that in mind, strings of eight. Also, I want to add today, my neighbor's going to come. The eight, those eight panels that I am um, rigging together with the brackets are actually going to be installed below that row and keep it nice and clean and looking as professional as possible. All right, so this comes into the house. So basically, once we get the series, uh, eight series panels in series of eight, uh, the plus and negative wires you saw hanging outside of the house will come to this combiner box. Okay, there's your combiner box right there. It's made in Germany. It's all certified. And basically... Your plus and negatives will go in here for each string in series. This way, uh, you have your, uh, I think that's a, what is that, 30? 30, 30 amp fuse. I can't, I can barely see that, but there it is right there. And um, now it's very simple. Uh, your plus and negatives are going to come into here. You have an earth ground right here. And then you got your outputs here that go into your inverter. And then from your inverter, it will go into your panel. This inverter is the Growatt, okay? And the Growatt, there's many of them you could look up and research. This is the 48 volt one. This one here allows me uh, to get the maximum potential power. It allows me to backfeed the grid, yes or no option. It also allows me to have my battery, which is gonna be situated here. So when the power does go out, the um, battery will kick in and it will transfer automatically when the battery hits 20% back to the grid if it needs to. So it will tie into my grid. It's like a tie-in inverter will tie in. So when it's sunny out, I still power the house. 
Uh, I'll have to apply for a permit to backfeed the grid if I want to. And there's all the safety um, tests that were made on it and everything is there for 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 uh, the inspector or whoever is going to certify this to see. So it's very simple, very simple system. Um, again, series of eight wires along the side, wires come in, they get installed here, power from here. Now, what's nice about this is if one of these blow or one of these fuses go, I'm going to know what string. I'm going to mark down what string each panel is in. So first string will be the first one in front of the house, then the middle one, then the all the way down, and they'll have two strings open for the future. If I want to get other panels or different uh, allocation of panels to run in series, I could go ahead and do that uh, in the future to add more power to this inverter. So this is a 8,000 watt inverter and it is very strong and it's more than what I need. It is a split phase. It is 120 volt uh, to 240 split phase. I do have an, an extra backup one in case I want to run two of them if I needs be, but I don't think I'm going to need it as I require it as of now. And there it is right there. We're ready to go. Electrician's going to come in next week. So I wanted to share this with you guys to show how the system I'm putting together. It might not be 100%. It might be a little wonky at times, but I'm going to tweak it if I have to run more panels in series if I need to. I'll keep you guys updated on how this system is going to work in the house. And basically, it's... Um, uh, a system that I'm going to learn over time. Remember, I'm not a licensed electrician, or nor am I a solar panel uh, salesperson um, that's going to sell you stuff to come to your house and install it. I'm just telling you how to do this yourself. Easy, D -I -D -I easy, do it yourself. This is my design. If there's any flaws or any mistakes that you may be seeing here, or there's something that's not right, please comment below. I would love to hear your feedback on this. Let me know what you guys think. And if you have experience and you want to shoot over some tips, I am open. I'm an open book, open discussion. So I'm going to get back and put up those last eight panels on the roof and run them wires down because electrician's coming soon and he's going to certify all this for us. Thanks for watching guys. And uh, I have spoken.